Today I'm going to be fitting a Rhino roof rack to the transit and I don't have any connection with Rhino. The client has actually bought this but I'm really impressed with how solid it is. A matte black finish is very good indeed. It's made of heavy duty steel and it has, in fact this is the back section, it has a chromed roller to make stuff easy to load up and the fixing kit has everything you need has the brackets that bolt onto the roof has the uh, rubber seals stop water getting in and all of the bolts you need and it's pretty simple so I'll be going through the assembly and fitting to the van in this video and the first thing we have to do is underneath here is a structural member of the van and there's a little plastic blanking plate. We'll just get a screwdriver and lever that off. And yep, there's a threaded hole underneath. So your bracket goes on there like that. And there's a rubber seal underneath that stop the water getting in and you have a bolt and a lock washer and an ordinary washer so that just fits in nicely there and it's best not to do the bolt up all the way because then you lift the roof rack on and the bars go in here and then there's a clasp that goes over and it's bolted so if you leave this just a bit loose then it makes it a lot easier to align up so I have to go along and take all of these off for the bolts to go into and as you can see they are spread along the side of the van. It's important to refer to the instructions because these panels, you can see, can actually fit either way round, but if you don't fit them the right way round, then the bar doesn't match up with the bracket. And you can see how that bracket works there. So basically, you go along and fit one side and take each plug out and bolt the bracket on just loosely as you assemble it and then you can go around the other side. Once you've got the components lined up okay, it's pretty easy. So I'll just do that and then... Uh, We'll see where we get to. To save moving the ladder around too much, I'll put the back bracket and the next bracket up, and I'm just attaching these two, bolting these two together. Two 13mm bolts, two washers, and a nylon nut. And they don't give you any spares, so a good idea not to drop them in the grass and another tip is that especially this back section is pretty heavy so if you work in front of a step ladder it's much easier if you've got two people and a cloth over the roof to stop the paint from scratching so if I move the camera here you can see the back bracket in here and then the next bracket along and I've just done these joints up so as I go down putting the brackets on I can join these sections together now all of these joints are bolted together rigidly and that's the roof rack complete bolted together 
So now that's all lined up, it's possible to just get a ratchet on there and as you go around, do up the brackets and compress that rubber seal so you don't get any leaks from the rain. And you can do these up quite tightly. That's enough. So the next job then is to put the shackle on this bit here. So having done this bracket up nice and tight, it's time to put the shackle on over the top. And you're supplied with long bolts for this. They go over like that. And what you have to do is lift the roof rack up so the bar is clear. And the bolts pass underneath. Which is a bit of a weight. bolts go in, two washers, and I'm just doing these up finger tight for the moment because once all of these shackles are fitted and they're loose you then move the roof rack this way or this way to line up with the center line of the band just so it's equal on either side and to go around these now and there's another well, there's four on each side so I'll put all the shackles on and then line it up and then just go around and tighten all the shackles up and it's complete. And it looks like in this van, roughly this sidebar here, lines up more or less with the knuckle on the van. Roughly, if you beat a line up, it's roughly in the middle of the bar. But uh, you can get a sight line from the front and the back of the van and line it up and then just knit these two bolts up on each shackle and that's it finished and now the final job is just to line it up this way and this way just by tapping it back and forward it's a little tight so I've been using a piece of wood just so I don't damage the paintwork and that's nice and central the only thing left to do now is just to tighten up these clamp bolts all the way round and that's installed and that's rather splendid that, that wasn't a problem putting on at all and uh, it was manufactured nice and accurately so all of these brackets lined up because if they were five mil out then you really wouldn't have been able to get those bolts in but uh, it bolts together quite nicely and uh, the finish is good. I'm impressed. Job done.